we want to identify each fraction modeled where the large figure represents 1. Looking at this first example, notice how the square is divided up into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equal pieces. So that tells us the denominator of the fraction. And then 2 of the 5 pieces are shaded. So this model represents 2 fifths. Looking at the second example, notice that the square is divided up into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 equal pieces. So our denominator would be 9. And 7 of those 9 pieces are shaded. Therefore, this represents 7 ninths. And then for the third example, notice how this circle is divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 equal pieces. So our denominator is 7, and 5 of the 7 pieces are shaded, so this represents 5 sevenths. And then for the last example, we'll take a look at this two ways. First, notice that this is divided into 8 equal pieces. So our denominator would be 8, and there are 6 pieces shaded, so 6 eighths would be one way to represent this fraction model. But I also want to point out that we could have divided this into four equal pieces, dividing it this way. And if we divided the circle in this way so that we had four equal pieces, notice that one, two, three of the pieces would have been shaded. So we could also represent this fraction model with a denominator of four and a numerator of three, which leads us into our next topic of equivalent fractions. These two fractions are equivalent meaning they have the same value, but notice how they have different numerators and denominators.